Hey YouTube, California Prepper here. Uh, just wanted to do a video on something I think is rather important that I haven't seen much of uh, here on YouTube. It's about procuring food in an SHTF situation uh, without using your firearm and drawing unwanted attention to yourself. Uh, even a 22 can be heard from a mile away, at least. Especially in a time like that when there's not going to be any vehicles, any air conditioning, no TVs, no stereo. It's going to be dead silent. And trust me, people are going to be listening. So you got to be very careful on, uh, on what you guys choose to do and uh, how you choose to do it. You want to be the gray man. You want to blend in. Like Miami Prepper says, you want to be seen but not noticed. And uh, one of the best ways to get spotted and noticed is uh, going out and shooting a bunch of guns off when everything's dead still and quiet. So, um, here's a couple of ideas that I had that I put together and incorporated in my preps. And uh, hopefully you guys like them. And uh, maybe you guys will have some ideas for me. So, let's start. Um, first off, um, I found this uh, pellet air rifle here. It's a BB pellet combo. Um, it's a Crossman 760 Pump Master. Uh, it reaches 600 feet per second with uh, the pellets and uh, 625 feet per second with the BBs. And it's a uh, multi-pump. It's uh, not the best air rifle out there, but I found it on Craigslist for $10 and it came with this uh, 2400 count uh, thing of steel BBs. So, I mean, 10 bucks, I couldn't pass that up. I mean, what's that, lunch at Burger King? Yeah, I, I just couldn't pass it up. Um, so I'd like to get a stronger gun but for the money it's a great gun it's strong enough to take down a uh, small game which that's what it'll be used for um, I'd like to get a 22 that's the one thing I don't have yet I have a shotgun and I have my sidearm a 40 Smith & Wesson handgun but I do not have a 22 rifle um, and right now with times being hard I could afford 10 bucks I can't afford the two 250 for a nice uh, rifle right now, especially in California. Prices are on the rise. So uh, I went out and I got this. It's .177 uh, caliber. It's uh, They're not very big, but I heard that these shoot harder and uh, faster than the 22 uh, caliber, so I was happy to hear that. Um, I went out and I got the a couple multi-packs of these. I think I got two or three of these. They come with um, some hollow points some hunting tips and some uh, wad cutters and um, those are pretty cool they shoot really good um, then I went out and I got a thing uh, 1250 um, hunting pellets and I think this cost me 14 bucks delivered to my front door um, off Amazon and um, right there that's what 900 plus 12 that's like two two thousand rounds 2100 rounds uh, with the three of these and this alone Plus the 2,400 BBs that I had. There's about 2,000 left in there. So, I mean, this will procure some food for a long time. And it also, I have two small children. So, this will be a great way, once they get older, to start incorporating them into the gun world. And, you know, get them plinking, knocking cans over, and, and being safe with the, with the BB pellet gun to when they come up to the uh, age of owning a, their own... Their, their own rifle or their own gun, uh, they'll already know what to do with it. That's uh, something that's very important to me. Um, next off, um, we have an old-fashioned slingshot. I know a lot of people don't think of a slingshot as a modern weapon anymore, but you guys got to remember, for hundreds of years, these things procured food for people. Before guns, these were the thing to have in your pocket. You could hit some, I mean, other than a, a bow and arrow, these were about the only thing that could shoot something uh, that hard and fast. And people have taken down um, animals with these. You, there's videos all over YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, next up, I went a little farther with the slingshot idea. I went, and um, Dave Canterbury has a system that he built. It's called the Pocket Hunting System. And, um,. It clips on to a mar regular marksman uh, slingshot, just like this one. 
Um, it's only ten more dollars for the extra slingshot when you buy the kit. So I just couldn't resist getting an extra slingshot because you never know. It's always good to have two. You know, the wife could have one and I could have one or the, you know, one for the kids to practice on and me to hunt with. You know, either or. It's always better to have a little more than ten bucks. You, I, I just couldn't pass it up. Ten bucks is ten bucks. Like I said, what's that? Uh, you know, uh, a meal at Burger King with a milkshake? Yeah, this is a lot better to me than that. So uh, here we have the pocket hunting system. Uh... This adapter here makes it possible to shoot arrows from your slingshot. And if you put one of these black heavy duty uh, bands on it, like he does, like Dave Canterbury does, he cuts them down, I think he cuts about a half inch or an inch off the ends, and puts them on there, and then you can shoot arrows, whether it be just these field tips, or you need to put a broadhead on there to take down a deer. And trust me, these are are plenty strong enough to take down a buck. Um, not necessarily as strong as a, a, you know, a crossbow or a, you know, a regular bow, but it'll give you better chances than throwing a stick or just throwing a rock. So, I mean, for the price, I couldn't pass this up. It's a great system. It also comes with this little, neat little. Uh, fishing kit you can put all your little fishing gear that you need in here your hooks your line your sinkers everything you need and it clips on and then if you see here there's this little wing nut on the back you unscrew this here you flip it around and this front would then become the back and the back would then become the front and you would clip this on so we're just gonna pretend here that this is the front now and you would just clip this on just like that, run your line around it, tie it off here to the bottom, get your fishing arrow out, run your line across it, and you're ready to get you some fish. Great, great system. If you guys haven't check, checked them out, go check out Dave Canterbury's videos for the pocket hunting system. It's a great, great addition to your uh, preps. Trust me. And last but not least, oh, before I get into that, I wanted to show you guys a couple uh, things that you can shoot with your slingshots, other than rocks, of course. I mean, what's great about slingshots is there's no actual ammo for them. They do sell these designated bearing type um, ammunitions for them, but if you don't have those, I mean, everybody knows you shoot rocks with slingshots, you know. And, of course, if you can't afford those, and, if you, you know, I went because I live in an apartment complex. There's not very many rocks around here. So if there was a, a, a problem and I had to find stuff, it would be hard for me to come across some rocks without having to go searching for them. So I went to the Dollar Tree, spent two bucks, and bought myself two big bags of marbles. They don't have to be the slingshot marbles. Regular glass marbles will work. These are completely round, smooth, and they'll fly very true. A lot better than a odd shaped rock or something. And uh, I'm telling you, those right there will put a lot of food on the table for you and your family. Trust me, I, I, I you know, I spent many years hunting with the slingshot. Many, many years. I'm not going to say all the things I, I shot because when you're kids, you, you don't really care. Now that I'm a little older, I'm a little ashamed, thanks. But that's another story. Next up, we have my newest addition um, to my preps. It's actually a crossbow. It's a little more expensive than the rest of this stuff, but I had a gift certificate for $50 off, so I got this whole system for $79.99 plus shipping and I couldn't pass it up. It's a beautiful crossbow with an all wood stock. Um, it actually has a 150 pound draw on it. <clears throat> it's not put together yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it together or not until I necessarily need to. But here it is. Look at that beautiful wooden stock. This thing has some weight to it. This is, I mean, this is heavier than my, than my 12 gauge that I have. Um, this thing is nice. The only problem with the weight 
is in a bug out situation, I think this might get left behind because of the weight. You think, oh, I'll be able to pack around anything, but 20 minutes down the road, I guarantee you're going to be dumping your backpack out and leaving stuff behind, and that's not what you want to do. You do not want to leave stuff out there for other people to get because you couldn't pack it and you thought you could. So that's one of the disadvantages here. Um, it's great for if you're staying put. Uh, you know, like I'm going to be probably most likely bugging in for the first 90, 120 days depending on how it gets. So this might be a great addition to it. Who knows? If I end up staying put or if I end up going, who knows, you know. I might end up deciding to dump something else and taking this because it, um, you know, it's it's less quiet. It's, I mean, these are reusable. I can't shoot a, a, a slug out of a shotgun, you know, put the slug back in, pop a new primer and throw some powder in. I mean, I could, you know, if I carried a reloading system with me, but that's, that's going to be more weight than carrying this. And I already have... Uh, a couple dozen of these arrows I bought along with it and uh, about a dozen of these uh, broadheads so they have really sharp field tips on them already I don't know if you can see those but those are, are real sharp you push that too f hard into your finger and you can draw some blood so these will they'll, they'll definitely do the trick on on small game or or whatnot and uh, I'm really happy I got this. I'm really happy. The only drawback, like I said, is the weight. It's the only thing I'm worried about. I might look into getting maybe a fiberglass one with a little less weight to uh, use as the bug out uh, crossbow, but it's really nice. And uh, these are just few ideas I had of uh, being able to procure few food in an SHTF without drawing unwanted attention to you. So if you guys have any other ideas that I might have missed, uh, please fair feel free to share them. The only reason I screen my comments is so I can uh, read them all. Uh, if you disagree with me, I will post your comment. Just throw it up there. Be respectful. And I promise I'll post it too. I don't post one-sided comments. I don't only post the ones that, that benefit me. So please leave your comments. And uh, hope you guys like the vid.